uh, in the name of God, the Father God, the Son God, the Holy Spirit, Amen. I pray the blood of Jesus Christ over this message. This message, I'm addressing it to all you pastors out there. By the blood of Jesus, and by the power in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, and the, by the power in the name of Jesus, I want to ask you all this question, and I want you to know, as the Spirit of the Living God directs me, why are you all, some of you, pastors, ministers, workers in God's vineyard, why are you in Freemason? Why is a lot of you involve yourself in Freemason? And as you are involved yourself in Freemason, you are recruiting young pastor as well. Go review it to me some of these things. God of Abraham, I come to you in the name of God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Israel. I come to you through Yeshua, the Son of the Living God. I do not. I come to you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Why is it that a lot of ministers, a lot of pastors are in Freemason? Mr. Mrs. Young man, young lady, you cannot help God. You cannot help God. He created the whole world. He created the whole world. He created we woman being. You are involving yourself in free mercy, thinking that we help the church. No. Don't do that. The power of free mercy has expired it. The power of secret court has expired it. When you are involved in that society, they can't tell you the expanding date, but they have the expanding date. And that power you are using, <laughs> that power you are using, the funniest thing is you are not the first person to use that power. People have used that power before you. Hear me, mister. Hear me, miss. Hear me, young man. Hear me, young lady. You can be both with your power. But let me tell you, I can both till my grave with the power of Jesus Christ and the, with, by the power of God. You know that God wanted to, to use me. You know who I am. You know that this is a child that God wants to use in this time. Here, you can see, I can both in front of the top of you, the highest of you, I can boast in your front. I can boast by the blood of Jesus Christ. Because I know that I have a backup. I know who sent me. But can you mention? No. When God starts using me, and I'm bringing some of this name up, some of your top, your leader, you all, know, you all should know that. Where did this girl have this authority to be able to be saying what she's saying? I'm saying it because I know who sent me. I'm saying it because I know the God that spoke to me, and I know the God that see, and I know the God that sent me that I should go and feed this sheep. Now, you can be in your free mercy. God is not stopping you. He said He already gave people choice. He gave us choice to choose from. He said, one of my book coming. God wanted to hold Africa pastor. Inside there, God told me, he said, he gave people choice. If you choose to be in free mercy, 100%, God is happy with you because he know at the end, he said because at the end, you already choose your destination. You already choose your final destination. You already know where you are going. That's why he's not annoyed with you. He know that where he already prepared for Satan and his agent, you choose to be fellowship with satan then that's okay that's what you choose you choose to be in hell fire eternity you choose to be in hell forever and ever that's what you choose it's it's okay for him one thing is that you cannot 
be in free mercy and be a pastor. God will not allow you. God said to me, the head of free mercy in Africa is a pastor and it's, like, it's a Nigerian man. Everything is inside that book and his name and the church is, is there. He said the, the, free, the, top, the head of free mercy in America is a pastor. The name and everything is in that book. And God said, the head of free mercy in England, God said she's not a pastor. That if she is a pastor, he's going to expose her. God said he will wholly expose those who are stealing his ass. If you are, still, you are calling yourself a pastor, a man of God, and you are, you are calling yourself a man of God, and you are calling yourself a pastor, you can have jet, you can have television channel, you can have all the radio on it, but one thing God will not allow you, He will not allow you to stay in His dress. He will not allow you to intervene in His church, and that's what you are doing. Look, He said, the head of free mercy in England, He said she was a woman. God said, he leave her because she already chose her destination. She already chose her own final destination. When they said somebody already chose her grave, she already chose her grave where she's going after she finished here on it. She didn't involve herself in church and God deliver. God know where she's going when she finished. But you you have a God. You have that power really shake your heart that you said no. Now you are in famously, you are going to join the church. Look. Read Ezekiel chapter 33, verses 11 to 19. Ezekiel 33, verse 11 to 19. I could suggest you read the whole book of Ezekiel 33. What you are doing now in free medicine, some of these Bible co- uh, page, they call them for you in your occult. They call them for you in secret society. Look, when God is coming to judge you, oh God, Satan will tell you that he won you or he forgot to warn you. The power you are using, they have expired it. That's the secret of the secret and the secret of the secret society of it. The power you are using, they have expired it. The expired it, Satan that gave you the power did not know the expiring date. Is that where God take over from? You will use the power. You will have everything you want on it. You will control people with that power. But when the expiring date come, the only person that know the expiring date is the God Almighty, the Maker of heaven and earth, through His Son Jesus Christ. They are the one that know the expiring date. And when the expiring date come, they start now raining fire. Thunder, fire on you. The thunder and fire on you that there is no among of the secret. So you can join one society from another society. They will say to you, they can't help you. That there is higher, there is a big, there is a higher hand on top, and the higher hand on top is the God Almighty, is the judgment. You are still in it now. God still wants to have mercy on you. That's why you are hearing this message. God is a merciful Father. He still wants to have mercy on you. You have church all over the whole world. Some of you, even next to a cemetery nowadays, you are building your church next to the cemetery because that's part and parcel of your of your court. It is okay. But when God is going to judge you, by then, there is no mercy. God is a merciful Father. He's still now sending a baby to you to tell you now that He's giving you a last warning to come out of that society. He's giving you a last warning to come out of that secret society. He's giving you a last warning to come out of that secret society. He's a merciful Father. He still loves you. Come out of the secret society so that at the end He can be able to welcome you home. No matter what sin that you have committed, I see God show me. Pastor, I saw a pastor carrying a black bag. Inside the black bag is like half part of a woman's body. 
was inside the plastic bag, inside the inside the bag. The man took the black bag and he went. I saw his back as he was going. I was trying. I was looking. I saw his back as he was going. There is nothing you are doing in secret that God did not see. There is nothing you are doing in secret that God did not see. You see the church building. Some of you, you don't enter through the door. You enter like a spirit and you sit with the people in the church. You collect, you know where you collect your power from? From the moon, from the star. I can see a moon and a star where you all collect your power from. From the grave down this earth where you all collect your power from. You can collect all those power. But one thing is they have expired it. And the secret out of the secret and out of the secret of it does it. You will never, never know the expiring date. When the expiring date comes, God will judge you. God will judge your children, your family. They will all be in pain for what you did. You can see. If you can't think of your life, think about your family. Because for four, four generations, they are still getting the pay for what they are for for parents did. They can only be free if they are in, in, in the Lord. They can only be free if they give their life to Jesus Christ. You can still come out of it. What you are all doing now. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish you know where God has prepared for you. Those of you who are following Satan, who are using his power, you know what you are doing? You are not helping church. You can have your mega church. You can have it up to the ceiling. Let it near heaven. God will bring them down. You can have church all over the whole head. God will bring them down. I wish God will show you in hell when you get there. After you die, after you leave this head, you will see how some of your church will be. They will be closing down. Some will be breaking. Some It will just be like a graveyard. After you finish here on it, I've seen what God has shown me. When you all that is having all this mega, mega, mega church, when you die and leave the earth, your church that you are building all over, they will all be like a graveyard. Why are they going to be like a graveyard? Is that Because they wasn't standing on the solid, solid word of God. You pollute and you dilute and you miss, and you miss, you miss, you miss the word of God and then you place on the table for people to be eating your food. The food that you gave them wasn't from God. The power that you use on them, you extend your their secret, you use, uh, uh, extend their soul. The secret of it, God reveals. God reveals secret to his children. Satan command you to be the church. You command you to have a mega church so that the more people are going inside those mega church, the secret of it is to be closing all the small local church around them. And the more people are going inside those big mega church, the more you are winning so for him and the more he will be promoting you in the secret cause because you are giving him so. And then he will be making you rich and famous all over the whole world. You can see part of your secret now. There's nothing that is hidden in, in God. It's God. He knew how to reveal his secret to a baby. He brought me. Even though I got you all deal with me, but you can see how God deal with you now. He bring out all your secrets. Because you all know that this girl, if we don't kill her from the womb, then let's do something from our mother womb. Let's do something. Since I came on it, before I, even, I was in my mother womb, you've been dealing with me. But you can see now God spare my life for a purpose. He, ha he still wants to have mercy on you. He still wants to have mercy on you. You swallow things. You can see people future. You can see all your church members. And some of you, 
If anybody stops going to your church, you put a curse on them. Because the demonic spirit in charge of your church, that's the work of it. That if anybody gets out of that church, things will be bad for them. It's okay. The things that will be bad for them is just only for a short time. Because God knows how to save his children. When the time God, uh, the time God puts in hand to start, he will deliver his children and then you, your everlasting hell will be waiting for you. You know how you do your finger. You all have, all have all kind of finger your, that you have as a star as you connect one another. Don't worry. All what you solo. All the power you are using, all your anointing, all your ring, all kind of things. Don't worry. When the judgment of God comes on you, there's no you can join under secret court. They can't help you when it's when his power comes. Look how it destroys Sodom and Gomorrah. You know how it destroys a whole country. Then you are just one. See how it's going to destroy you. You are in your secret society and you want more churches. That's the part of the power they gave you. Include more church. Employ more young people. Even nowadays, inside the church, you are uh, 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 making people join the secret society and involve them in secret society by your anointing. <laughs> by the anointing of and by the Holy Communion. They are not secret in the eyes of God. You are putting people in bondage with those two things. And you are laying your hand on them. You are saying you are blessing them. But as you are blessing them, you are submitting their soul to Satan's kingdom. Maya, ya, ya, ya. Wait for the Almighty Kingdom. Wait for the Almighty God. What you call secret, they are not secret. What you call secret, they are not secret. You all are saying that you, it's, a, it's a society that you help one another. Mm -mm. If you help one another, you don't evolve in church. That society doesn't evolve in church. God is pure and God is holy. He sent Jesus Christ down on earth to come and save us, to come and set us free. He did not send us out to say, let's be helping one another and join another secret cause. You all are doing all this. This is the work and the power of Satan that he brought on earth. Those who started before, those who have gone ahead of you, all those Mayflower Freemasons, they have gone ahead of you, but they can't come back to tell you where the generation of Freemason comes from, where all this power comes from. They cannot come back to tell you the whole gene on it, the secret deep on it, because where they are, they can't come back to, to tell you, stop it. They cannot tell you to stop it, that those who do what you are doing, they can't see heaven. They cannot come back to tell you that those who follow after this religious, this practice, no, they can't see heaven. You are still here on it. God is a merciful Father. He still wants to have mercy on you. That's why He sent me this afternoon to give you this message. You got your choice to choose from. If you choose secret society free mercy, don't involve yourself in church. Don't be a pastor. Don't involve yourself in the things of God. Don't involve yourself in things in the holy thing. Move away. Let the house of God be clean. Let the house of God be holy. God is holy. Look, let me give you a few messages God gave me here. For you to know that the power you are using is for the meantime. It's just for a short time. I saw a man on the black horse. He had a rope. Everything he had was black with the rope in his hand. He was going inside the church with the rope. He was running inside this church building that I saw myself running out. And I saw some group of black men, men, old men. They are walking behind him to stop him from going to beat those inside the church. And those men are saying to me, please help us. I said, no, 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 my sister is there. I quickly run out of the, the compound of the church because I don't want the man on the black horse to, to use the rope on me. As well, as I run out, I realize that I just been a run out of inside the church. There's another one. What you are doing is secret. It can only be secret to those who you are deceiving. Uh, deceiving those who doesn't know anything that come to your church. They say, "Oh, that pastor church is so big. Even outside the church, the church is so big that they occupy the street. They occupy the whole village. They occupy everywhere. What you are doing is no secret." 
the the now you <laughs> yeah, yeah. the level of secret they gave you those who involve you in the secret court they told you you have a limit of where your church can go they told you they have a limit of where you can have your church member you don't take people from our member from our church to your church all those things you call secret they are not secret God knows how to reveal everything to his children God knows how to reveal everything to his, his, his children if you are really a true child of God you don't limit how far your church branch can go you don't limit your head said it will have church all over the world but you they gave you a limit of a place where you can have you can have your church they are not secret and you call that secret they are not secret you can see god is above you now he know he see everything and he reveal it all to, to his children for his children to be watchful for his children to know that they are in the midst of wolf in sheep cloth. I saw a church. It was a very big, massive church. I ran, I, wa I was inside the church. I went and put an offering in the offering box inside. And I ran out of that church. Inside that church was so big. But it was so dark. It, it was like if I was the only one inside there. As I ran out, out of the church, I saw a man. It's like a the blood of Jesus, the door of the church, and it did not close it. And I saw, an, and I saw the, on the other side, on the left side, he was standing on the, he was standing on one side, and the other one was standing on the left or right side, right side here. Then I saw a man standing on the right side there. But the man that wanted to close the church was standing in front of the church building. Then I saw a man standing, a black man there. I was thinking there to myself that maybe it was the pastor of the church that they wanted to close up. But they came to close the church because inside the church was so dark. God is coming and God is sending his message. And there's another one for you to know that if you are a pastor and you are a free message, I beg you in the name of Jesus, if you really love yourself. Look, you are here maybe for 100 years or, or 90 years, nobody knows. But look where you are going to get your punishment for over a thousand years. Th thousand times, th times two. One thousand times two. You times it and see how many years you are going to be in hell. And look how many years this fancy life you are going to fancy. You are going to use to be here on it. And look where you are going for the pain for a thousand years. It's a brain. You need to see that and work it out by yourself as a mass. There's another one, God, let me see. I was running on the road. So I saw where people are standing like a feed. As they are standing there, I saw plane flying like a war plane. It was a war plane. I was running above the uh, the plane was flying up, and I was running. I was running to tell people that the plane they are looking at up there. I said to them, "It's not an ordinary plane. It's a war plane. In the front, there is a show plane that people are just looking at, thinking that it's just an ordinary plane." They all lift their head up and they are looking at it. But as I was running, I was coming to tell them that the plane they are looking at is a war plane. There is a war plane coming behind. Because I have seen those people that the plane have killed on my way running to them. But by the time I run to them to tell them that the plane they are looking at is a war plane, nobody there believed me. I was telling them, I said, the plane you are looking up there, they are war planes. And I saw one old man, he stand and listen to me. I told him, I said, that plane, there's a war plane coming out. There's a war plane coming. There's a war plane coming. Then I said in that dream, I said, now, maybe they will listen to this man because he's an old man. Maybe they will listen to him because I'm not old. Maybe, maybe that's why they didn't listen to me. And I just went and I woke up from that dream. The choice is in your hand. God is coming to judge. His judgment is on his way to you all. He wanted to clean his church and that's why he's coming to judge you. 
you call yourself a man of God. God even forgive me from even pro calling you a man of God. You that's what you call yourself. I'm not calling you a man of God. You call yourself a man of God, and you are not even looking after the sheep of God. You are even you involve yourself in secret society, and some of the sheep that you're supposed to look after, if you are really a man of God, you involve them too in secret society. When you know that they have education, that they have been to any university anywhere all over the abroad or anywhere in the country, wherever you are, you start anointing them, you start polluting their spirit, you start download and involve them in secret code, and then you send them all abroad, and they too are polluting people's spirit. You see, you see why God said you are destroying his house, and that's why he needs to come down to deal with you. God is a merciful Father. God is a merciful Father. There's no, I wrote some of my book. If you go on Amazon or Lulu, you can be able to get some of my book. But like somebody like you, I don't think you need a book to read. I don't think you need a book to read. What you just got to do is to go, to go to God and ask God for mercy. That's the language you need. You can get some of my book to read, but you need to go to God and ask God for mercy. You need to go to God to ask God for mercy because it's the mercy of God that you need. I will not even introduce a book to you because the, uh, you, are above the, you are above the book. You can close your eyes and read the Bible, but that doesn't help you. That doesn't help you. What you are doing, you say you can close your eyes and read the Bible. <laughs> the time will come. You see that Bible you are looking at now on earth. When you touch it, it will burn you like fire. When you touch, you are looking at those Bible, those word of God as just as ordinary because some of the Bible page verse they are quoting it for you in the secret code. And that's why I say even they told you not to read the Bible, you will automatic read it. It's okay. All those power if it's for a short time. I remember a story a man that that said that they involved him in secret court and when he went, he said there's a place that he went. He said even the typewriter, he saw the typewriter working on his own without nobody, nobody uh, touching it or pressing it. It's okay. All those power, they are only for a short time. You can use it to get a job. You can give it to your children. They too can use it to be doing all kind of things. All those power, they are all for a short time. They have the expiring date. When the expiring date comes, there's no secret cause can help you. You call yourself a pastor. You call yourself a man of God. You are drinking blood, woman being blood. You are eating woman being flesh. And you call yourself a pastor. They are not secret. They are not secret. I don't know if some of you will understand you, but even the English I'm speaking, I'm begging God to give you the wisdom to be able to understand. My voice nearly gone but God help me that some of the language I'm speaking now you can be able to understand the little as it is. I will sing this one in Yoruba language, West Africa language for you if you uh, the meaning of it is my people, where did you put God when you are eating woman being like animal? That's the meaning of the of this song. It's I sang it like this. my e bi mi ton je eniyan bi eni je ran mi bo le fi oluwa si e bi mi ton je eniyan bi eni je ran mi bo le fi oluwa si e bi mi ton je eniyan be any general, Nibo left you, Luasi, Pastor, Ton Jomini, Be any general, Nibo left you, Luasi, Pastor, Ton Muegenio, Be any mommy, Nibo left you, Luasi, Pastor, Ton Muegenio, Be any mommy, Nibo left you, Luasi. Iku oro nduro de yilonu o. Iku oro. Iku oro nduro de yilonu o. 
ikurom inarondura deilano inarom inarondura deilano oh inarom basta tomo genio bieni momi ni bola fiolu asi basta tomo genio Bieni mommi, ni bo, le fiolu asin. Pasta to mwe genia, bieni mommi, ni bo, le fiolu asin. Pasta to mwe genia, bieni mommi, ni bo, le fiolu asin. I kuoron duro de yilan uo, i kuoron. I kuorondro de ilon, oh, I kuorom. I kuorondro de ilon, oh, I kuorom. I kuorondro de ilon, oh, I kuorom. Pasta tonga amoy ni obieni jano. Ni bole fiolu asi, pasto tunja omenio, bieni jeron. Ni bole fiolu asi, you can go to God for mercy. He will surely welcome you and he will, he will have mercy on you. Go to him for mercy and he will have mercy on you. All what you will drink, all what you swallow, burn them and destroy them. Do it. If you don't do it, if you don't want to do it for yourself, do it in case of your children, because what you did now, after you left the head, your children, children are going to pay for it. Not even that alone, so that when you die, you can rest in God and the rest in Satan. You, pardon me, because all of you who are in secret society and you call yourself a pastor. God has a special place for you in hell. Because your own punishment will be double than those who did not even involve themselves into church. Because you are stealing the house of God and you are destroying the soul. As that, your punishment will be double. If you don't want that, if you want to die and rest in peace, please go to God for mercy and come out of those secret society. Please. Go to God for mercy and come out of secret society. Then you can go and get your Bible and back on your feet. If you have been using secret society to open church, start closing some of the church. Go with tissue and help you out to do it. You can start joining them up. From there, God with tissue and send you to some of this book. God will to all pastor so that you can get it. So that then from there you can, some of the book God gave you, then from there God can have mercy on you and start be working in you. Because he know by now that you are now a clean person. And God will even force ask you, did I call you into the ministry? Did I call you into the ministry? Or you just feel like being a pastor and then you join yourself in secret society and you become a pastor. If God wants you to start closing some of the, your church down, and God wants to train you and send you back to your Bible, God will know how to walk on that line. Remember, the power of secret society have a sparring date. The only thing is those who have left before you, they can't come back to tell you that what you are using have a sparring date. That look where you made them. This is what leads them to where they are. If you are in secret society and are you a pastor, before you die on this earth, Bible will be a witness of this world. You won't die peaceful. If a, 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 you call yourself a man of God and you did not give your life to Jesus Christ, before you die, you will never die peaceful because God's word will never go like that. It will fulfill all what he said. It will make his word come to life. If you call yourself a pastor and you involve yourself in secret society, when the power of Satan expires in your life, 
God will start raining judgment, raining fire, raining judgments on you. That's why I said it's a word. We never it will never be like a toilet that you will just flush away. No. His word will be like a tree that will stand up and speak out. I said, didn't I told you? Didn't I send one girl to you to warn you? To change? Didn't I, didn't I send somebody to you to stop you? To tell you to come out of that secret society and give your life to Jesus? But you refuse and you, got to, you have to get your pay back now. Here is your pay.